hey guys in this tutorial i am going to create a very small but a very important chrome extension that will help you inject custom css and custom javascript in any web page the cool thing is that the extension that i am going to build is actually going to create an additional search button on my google web page consider you search for a particular search term very frequently then you can avoid typing that keyword again and again and just by clicking that button you can fetch the search results so it's hardly a five minutes job and you don't really need to be a front end developer anybody can use this code download and use it on your local machine so let's do it so the very first thing that we need to do is let's create a manifest file and within this manifest file the first thing we need is the name of the extension let's call it my google search okay then you do need a version otherwise it will throw an error next we need a manifest underscore version so manifest version is also important so let me write it as one and let's see what will happen later on okay then we can give a description say some description here okay now the most important thing we need to inject scripts so this is the section content scripts where we should inject our scripts so it is an array of objects and uh, here I will write first of all JS files that I need to inject so I will create only one file say init.js so let's start with it let me save it and let me create one file say init.js over here and within init.js I am going to call a self executing function and within it I am say calling an alert hello so that said what I'm going to do over here for the time being let's call this function save it let's now go back to Chrome browser click these three dots on the top right corners click settings then go to extensions and click this load unpack then navigate to the folder where you have written your Chrome extension so let me go there and click select so it is giving me an error manifest version key must be present and set to 2 because 1 is reserved for the apps so we cannot use 1 so I have to go back and change it to say 2 I don't know why it is like this but uh, this is what you have to take care of now let me retry it fair enough there is again an error the error is required value content script 0 matches is missing so matches is on what all pages do you want to run the script so that is something that you have to mention so it will go in this attribute and you can write down say star colon double slash www.google.com why I put star over here so that uh, whether it's HTTP or HTTPS it will run on both right let's go back and let's retry it again fine our Chrome extension is set and is active on our local machine now let's go to Google and let's refresh the page awesome it is working alert hello is also showing so this means we have successfully injected the script into our web page so first thing is done that we have successfully injected now you can write any code that you want in this section and it will work for your Google web page now let's create another search button for custom search so I will not take much of your time I have already written all the code so I will keep on copy pasting over here and then I will explain each and every section of the code okay the very first thing is that we need to add the button so here I have created an input element its value is set as search method mafia I have given it an ID and the type as submit why I did that I will explain and then I have appended it on my Google web page in this element and what is this element let me go to Google now so if I inspect these two buttons so you can see that these two are input elements right 
and their type is submit so I have created similar element and I have appended the new button along with these two okay so it's a simple CSS selector nothing special next I am going to define the events as well that what will happen when I click on this button so I have defined an event listener click it will call another function fn search and it will pass something to search you can write your own criteria what you want to pass okay let me define this fn search function now so this is what I am going to do I am simply going to populate this element on my Google web page what is this element fn search function will actually populate my search bar Google search bar okay let's go back and uh, let's now call a couple of functions say fn add buttons let's define it and then say fn define events okay let's save it let me do one thing let me remove this str for the timing okay I want to demonstrate something and let's go back to extensions and let's reload it let's reload it successfully if I run it now awesome we have search method mafia the third button is there now right if I click it nothing is happening why nothing is happening let's go back to extensions and we can see there are some errors now click this button and you will be able to see that there was some issue we are trying to use str in this statement but str is not defined so it will throw errors as well and all those errors you can debug using the error section of your chrome extension so i have to go back and uh, let me pass str over here remove let's clear all the errors go back and uh, reload it and let's refresh google let's click it awesome it's working absolutely fine the last thing we want to do now is let's give it a different color go to manifest file and the way we injected our JS files the same way we will inject CSS files let's write styles.css and that's it and we will create a file styles.css and within styles.css I want to give some styling to this button right so let's write hash command v and then I will give some style say background I want to give it a different color say and let's give it white color as well okay save it reload the extension reload Google page and there you are now you have applied the custom styles to your button as well so you can manipulate any web page according to your own preferences by injecting your own CSS and your own JavaScript files. So that's it from this video. If you really like the video then share it with your colleagues and subscribe this channel. Bye.